just this voice man telling me that you are not enough love yourself is easy in words but difficult in action Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution let me just say my ring light is broken and I don't know where to get it fixed and so every time I film I have to film at a place that will allow me to get as much light as possible and every time I sit down to film the Sun decides I am a head out it decides to go away and so if you see there's just like a random touch of light or spark of brightness is because the sun has decided in the middle of my filming huh maybe maybe I can just show up for you maybe I can be there for you you know if I feel like it so I apologize for the change in life if there are any videos that you guys want to see me do please comment down below if you have any questions about my life in America or my experience in America comment down below I'll be making a video about that when I gather enough questions but also follow me on Instagram because that's where we get to engage more so this video I've never actually done a video like this but today's video is gonna be a life update video so the last video I did where I was talking about myself I think it's the one where I was saying oh my gosh I'm about to be homeless in a foreign country and my school wanted us to leave and blah 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 um, and I think I made one where I expressed that we were allowed to stay but I don't think I made another one after that and I know some people were very curious so life update video so, with regards to my living situation I was able to stay on campus thank God my school decided that they were gonna let us stay and we're gonna have to pay $50 every week and so I don't know if you guys actually noticed but like my background is different because I'm now living in the new place like I'm a new person this is who I am now and you know like let me tell you something guys living here makes me feel like money guys it's so good it's so nice like this place has a view you know even right now as I'm filming I'm looking at a view it's so nice like being here makes me feel like I'm a rich auntie makes me feel like I have a penthouse suite in New York and I'm just living life large and rich so that being said they moved us I was on North Campus and they moved us from North Campus to South Campus and within the building there are different suites so in my suite I have three other people living with me so there's four of us here in our suite everyone has their own room and we have a shared kitchen and a shared bathroom and it's pretty nice here like it has AC the place where I was staying before I had no AC and I literally had six fans and I had to get that powder because when it gets too hot like you know when your skin I don't know does that thing like like you washed it like it wait what you know what I mean? I don't know what to say, but like I had to get like powder to like deal with the heat rash I was getting and stuff like that. So I'm really happy that we were able to make this move and I'm so grateful to my school for allowing us to stay because some schools told their international students Do me a favor please, get out of here. Get out of here man, shit, I'm saying. Peace and love guys, all the best to you. <laughs> so um... I'm really grateful that my school allowed me to stay and so with the question of staying something that I was worried about before because we were thinking about this my family and I that um, if corona gets worse or doesn't get better I'm gonna have to stay here and something that was really bothering me was what am I going to do in America for three months honestly guys like you really value your time off because you've been busy because like you've been working so hard and now you just get time to chill but I don't know if it's just me but I'm not the type to chill for three months doing nothing and I mean I'm making YouTube videos and I'm editing and that's a lot of work but it's like what else am I going to do and lo and behold thank God I got an internship for the summer crazy part is that once upon a time in my school in my school year like one day one day basically I was like you know it would be so cool if I were if I were able to do an internship in America but I was like oh that, that's probably never gonna happen because I go home every summer so I probably won't get the opportunity to like do an internship and I was like oh it would be so cool if I got the chance but oh well it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> but lo and behold guys God is listening life and death is in the power of the tongue and those who love to talk will reap the consequences Proverbs 
18, 21, God was listening. So I work 20 hours a week, four hours every day, which is really not bad at all because then I still have a lot of time to myself and I can still record and edit videos. And honestly, let me tell you guys, I have the most amazing boss that you could ever have. Like with everything that's going on, it's been so stressful being in America during COVID where America ended up having the highest cases and um, all the protests are going on and just the attack on black lives and then I'm reading about the gender-based violence in South Africa and my heart is crying. So it's been a, an emotional roller coaster and my boss, guys, has been like, Take care of yourself if you need to. If you need something, let me know. And she's been so supportive and of my videos and what I do and, and allows me to express myself. Her and another woman who I work with, I'm not gonna say their names for privacy purposes, but another woman who I work with as well, like she's been so good to me, guys. She has opened up her home, her family, and she's actually the one that helped me get this internship. Like where I am right now is not something that I could have crafted with my own hands. It's honestly just God's grace and what I learned from this whole situation is that when God takes you somewhere He's already got a plan for you. He's already got it figured out He will put people in your life that you need there He will put the connections you need and you just have to do your part You just have to walk into it You just have to do the work that is needed to sustain you But God has already made everything possible and so my life right now has really just been a testament to that So basically guys, I'm here in America. I've got a job. I'm making money the girl is focused the girl is working the girl is motivated I am a strong independent black woman making my own money and I'm not making rich auntie money and I'm earning minimum wage but it's honestly so much better than nothing okay so outside of living and working you know there's pros and cons to everything and there are major pros to the situation that I'm in right now but a con that I've been experiencing guys is I miss home I miss my family I am homesick I miss my country being alone in this time is difficult you know, when COVID hit and the world started to get scary, a lot of my peers and people around me just wanted to be huddled up with their family, be close with their family. And people found themselves spending more time with their family and complaining that, oh, you know, being at home all the time is a mess and I want to go back to res and blah, blah, blah. But there was still that grateful element of I get to be with my family. When times are tough, you want to be surrounded by love. You want to be surrounded by family. You don't want to be alone. You don't want to be stranded somewhere. And that's how I felt for the longest time and it's still kind of how I feel now, is I wish I was with my family. There are days where I'm like, I wish, like sometimes me and my dad would just go on a drive and he'd just talk and, and I miss going to sit with my mom. Like I'd just go jump on her bed and we just sit and we just talk. Like, and just a hug, a hug from your mom, you know? And my brothers would be in my room annoying me and not going away. The things you complain about, become the things that you miss, you know? And honestly, I really feel like more important than anything else in life is love and family. So that's been really hard for me. I really miss my family. I feel so lonely sometimes. I feel so sad sometimes. So I'm six hours behind South Africa. So there are times where I'm like feeling really anxious, nervous or sad and I wanna call my mom and I'm like, oh, she's probably sleeping or blah, blah, blah. And obviously your family will always be like, call whenever you want and stuff, but obviously you have to be considerate as a person. So yeah, that's been really challenging. Something that I do appreciate though is a lot of people around me have been reaching out and I've been saying, you know, if you need anything, let me know. If you need someone to take you to the grocery store, let me know. If you need help with this, let me know. And that's been one of the most beautiful and humbling things I have experienced, guys. Another lesson that has been reinforced for me, and I've always known, but it's just been reinforced. I am because we are. As humans, we cannot live without each other. We need community. So my heart has really been touched by all the people that have been reaching out, annoyingly so. I'm very annoyed by people who reach out and say, if you need anything, let me know. And then when it's time, when you want to ask them something, they're like, ooh, yeah, mm, ooh, uh. And it's like, listen, babe, don't offer. If you don't want, don't offer. You know what I mean? Because you look worse offering and not delivering than you do just not offering at all. And I just want everyone to remember and keep in mind that the opportunity to give, the opportunity to help, is the opportunity to receive blessed is the hand that gives and the one that receives guys like 
investing in people is one of the best investments you can make also one of the worst because humans naturally just suck but investing in people is to invest in yourself to give to others is to give to yourself so i really urge you like especially in this time right now where guys people have it so hard i know we all have it hard and we're all struggling in one way or another but i urge you please if you have the opportunity to help if you have the funds please do reach out to people please do help whether it's emotional support talking to someone donating or something please reach out to people and help be the help that you wish you would receive or you wish you had received but maybe you didn't be the help that maybe one day you might need you know Outside of the more positive things I want to talk about some of the struggles that I've been having I mean I just spoke about missing my family and stuff but apart from that I have definitely experienced increased anxiety and I don't want to call it depression or anything but I don't I don't think it is but some sadness shall I say understandably with everything going on there are some weeks some weeks have been horrible for me guys there are some weeks where I didn't want to get out of bed there are some weeks where I just felt so anxious I ended up feeling literally physically sick and there are some weeks where I just don't want to eat like I don't want to eat at all even now like I have no appetite I'm a lover of meat meat is a meal guys a plate of meat is a meal it's a complete it's a complete meal to me that's how much I love meat but as of late I can't stand it like meat I don't know this is crazy but hear me out guys hear me out meat taste too much like meat lately i don't know if that makes sense but i can't stand the taste of meat cereal is annoying if i eat any more bread i'm gonna turn into bread itself i don't know man but my relationship with food has become really really tricky but there were weeks where i would feel so anxious and my heart would start beating so fast it felt like it wanted to jump out of my chest and this happened to me when i was in high school writing my final exams where i got so nervous and so anxious i felt sick my heart wanted to like pop out i could not breathe so i've been experiencing some of that lately and i think it's a result of just just stress and also i've been fighting with some insecurities as well like i got these stretch marks i don't know if you guys can see but i have these stretch marks on my arm and on my belly and like yo yo love yourself is easy in words but difficult in action like i think i'm gorgeous and i think my body's amazing and i you know like i mean obviously it's not perfect but i mean i, I, I could live with it it's cool i like it but I just see these stretch marks and the words that come to my brain afterwards are just so horrendous. And that's something else I've been dealing with too. Like I always get this voice or this feeling and it's something I've been praying against that tells me that I'm not good enough and nothing I do is ever good enough and I'll never make it. And just this voice, man, telling me that you are not enough. And I look at these stretch marks and it's like, you are not enough. I got my grades back and your girl got all A's. <laughs> you know the vibes, you know what it is, it is what it is. And I made the Dean's list and even in the midst of that celebration, it's like, yeah, but you're still this and you're still that and you're not good enough. And all oh, your grades are good? Okay, but what about this? And what about that? Oh, you think you're okay? Well, where's your family? And blah, blah, blah. Like. It's crazy. It is so difficult, the things that I've been going through emotionally that I can't even express in words and I get tired of talking. Girl, I know you're lying. I know you're lying. Contrary to popular belief, especially when I'm in pain and I'm hurt, I don't feel like talking. And there are many weeks where I felt like I'm not gonna release a YouTube video because I'm tired. Like, I, I don't wanna talk. I don't wanna do anything. I don't wanna put myself out there. But I must say that prayer really does help me. Prayer, fasting, reading the Bible really does help me. Listening to gospel music really does help me. When I would go through those anxiety attacks or, you know, just increased sadness, I would literally just play gospel music the whole, as long as I need to. And it would literally just calm my spirit. So listening to gospel music helps me to calm down. And also praying. Praying really helps me to calm down. Like, guys, the power of prayer is so real. And my pastor always says that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Prayer is power. Prayer equals power. Prayer is so, so beautiful. Like when I pray, I literally feel a weight being lifted off my chest. Like God is really just taking whatever I'm dealing with and cast it away. And I mean, sure, sometimes it comes back later or the next day and we pray, but it, it, it goes away. 
you know and I know that every day God is fighting for me and I know that he's working on me every single day and I know that this too shall pass I just have to be still and know that he is God and I have to know that he did not give me the spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind but anyway before this video gets too long let me just close it off right here I just want to tell people as well like please take time for yourself please take breaks guys because a lot is going on right now even your strongest of friends family members they are also going through it right now we're all going through it no one is immune but we just have to find our own ways of keeping going black lives matter the movement is alive the revolution will be live will be televised will be everywhere it's all peace it's all love be still and know that god is god give it all to god take care of yourself take care of each other let there be love that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys